Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Tough Questions and Katamari. <laughs> We're doing pretty well, I'd say. I, 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 mediocre at best. Well, I mean, like, as far as our progress goes, <laughs> perhaps we're not doing the best within that. Uh, I am usually not. I shouldn't say we, because <laughs> it's all you, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm actually the one that's not doing very well. Yep. Like all I'm the just other sitting video back games. for the ride. Like all the other video games that we play, I don't do well. I just stand here and talk shit. <laughs> it's... it's about how terrible I am. No, but sometimes, yes. Well, you know, it's an occasion thing. It's all out of love, right? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Love you, buddy. Man. Uh, we're rolling up some students as fast as possible. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take. Yeah, serious. Looks like you're big enough to get them little ones. <laughs> take these little Straight ones. Straight up. Yeah. Get them. I'm going to. Them little bastards. Oh. Well, uh, I can only get some of them. Let's see here. Oh, the ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them away, adults. Take this. Oh, wait. No, I don't know. Oh, go you can just yeah. go through the door. Oh, I can't, I can't get any of these things. So <laughs> They're middle school kids. They're a little too big. Whoa, that one just ran right at you. <laughs> Banzai. Oh, man. These little ones I can just suck up. You need to oh, re man, you need to rephrase that, homie. There's little oh, children everywhere. Oh, well, I did just go. Into it kind of reminds me of a uh, not reminds me, but leads into the question that I'm going to ask you. Uh, in a way, because uh, uh, okay. you're in school, you're studying. Oh, okay. If All you right. became, if you could become like instantly qualified for any job and get offered that job, what job would you want? Um, like, what job would you want to do if you could get offered it tomorrow? Like. No ifs, ands, or buts. I no. just get to you can do be mine. the president. You could be like the Jeez. like the CEO. You could be like an oil tycoon. I don't care. Um, you could you could be a janitor. A janitor. I don't mind. Oh um, man, that's. I mean, I guess I'd want my job. What you have to go to school for your job? <laughs> what? what, what mm hmm. Uh. I mean, like you get it. You could pick that, but pff, it's not very much fun. <laughs> you don't tell me what's fun and what's not fun. That's true. Uh, I'm man, not the fun police. That's a that's a good question. What's, what you go first for us? Because I because uh, I want to think about this for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, I think maybe animal trainer. Animal That'd trainer. be awesome, right? Right. That's, uh, that's like not like circus animals, like you know dogs and cats, and it's like for the movies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ah, that just changed my mind. Just saying what I said for the movies. A animal wrangler. No, better yet. Stunt driver. Ooh. That'd be dang. sick. Ah, you, you That'd be so much fun. I don't, joke, I can't steal that one. Dang. I hear the stunt drivers and stuntmen are the same thing. And I don't, like, I mean, some of those that stunts would be fun, but like my back probably couldn't handle most of them. <laughs> <laughs> so stunt driver, that'd be sweet. Or animal trainer. That's what I'm going with. Or animal trainer. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Well, well stunt driver, yes. <laughs> it's like skydiving instructor. That'd be pretty sweet too. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like, <laughs> like you just jump out of planes for a living, you know. For sure. Uh, when I went skydiving, maybe want to throw up though. So. Oh really? I've I'd never probably, been. Uh, I, going skydiving is one of my uh, bucket list items. Well, to be fair, the skydiving part was fine. It was the parachute ride. Okay, I know what I want. That made me queasy. And it's and it's because I'm also terrified of it, kind of. I want to be like deep sea fisherman. Oh, like, I thought you were uh, going to say Mexican like a, prostitute. Whoa, bro. No. Jeez, no. You're not terrified of those? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well, that's not what I want to be sea, either. Deep sea what? Like explorer? Like a, like a deep sea explorer. Yeah, like like a three tank scuba session. Dang. Cool. Yeah, because like two tank scuba sessions apparently like take a lot of planning because like, you got to decompress and everything. Yeah, I would just take it one step further and jump on one of them little tiny uh, submarines. Oh, then really? you go, ooh, and go all the way down there. <laughs> That would probably be crazy, Man, like claustrophobic, see, though. But uh, but like getting down to like the very bottom. Yeah, I'd love of, to see that. The, shit. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. See the sea. Oh man, forty five. I think that's a fail. You're you already I, done. I, yeah, that was a quick one. Well, it said do it as fast as possible, and I don't think I did it very fast because it's forty five. Huh? Minutes. Dangling thing. What's that thing down on the bottom left? I feel like if you failed, it would have already told you you failed. I don't know. Well, honestly, the Robo King and this king do whatever the hell they want. And so. They're kings. Yeah. Well, that's understandable. You got a backpack. That's a thing. I wish I was a king. That, that's my job. 
The king I, of, I wish I could just be a king of something. Who the still king has of, a king? King of cartoons? Who, who still has a king? Oh, Saudi Arabia. Mm. Is that a good king? Um, technically, Great Britain does. But they don't have a king, but they could. They have a royal family. Roll up energy to make the sun. Okay. I don't know if Saudi Arabia really has a king. I just want like I I don't know what they call their royalty. I guess I guess just shag. <laughs> you just want a shag? It said shag. I skipped it. Shag carpeting. You'd probably want to be a fluffer, huh? What, the, dude? Why <laughs> you gotta make it so weird? Mexican <laughs> prostitute fluffer. What? What next? Cam cam bot. No, you don't really need experience for that. Oh, you could probably just do oh that tomorrow. We are you done. You don't need to be offered that job. Uh, That's the joy of the cambot. You just do it if you want. You just you just become the cambot. What well, are we talking about? I'm changing. I was about to say I'm changing the subject. We're talking about oh oh yeah tank oh. See, I'm not the only one being inappropriate what around is here. This? What it says what hard is, on right there uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard on the ears. <laughs> hard on. <laughs> oh. Oh, hurry. Go, go. You're going to get all up in his crack. You did. You uh, went right under his tank. I had to, man. No, you didn't. You chose to. I did. <laughs> Just like this one. Oh, my God. I missed that A one. A variety right. of taints. So, after we were just severely violated. I think you're the one that violated them. Dude, I didn't violate anybody. I was a complete gentleman. I just happened you to You brushed learn. it. I saw. Oh, my God. I should be able to pick up those. That's not fair. And all this other stuff. All right. So... We uh, remember how we talked about a while ago, like how in society it's weird or Western culture. Everyone always tells you like, you need to smile more or whenever you tell uh, women primarily, you need to smile more. It's essentially like there's something wrong with your face and it's bothering me. So yeah. you can That's you change like, it. I mean, I don't know how Western culture, I think it's just like a trend that happened in America. I don't know how much everyone else does it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'd be interested to know like if other cultures like imply like hey you need to be happy too it's such an emphasis on it's on like happiness. one of those millennial things that like popped up because someone started doing it and everyone started doing it because it was hip they're making videos and whatever but yeah it's totally sexist yeah uh so and so i was interested or not interested but i looked up this uh thing called duchene smiling or the duchene smile and so the duchene smile is uh, a genuine smile uh, they also call it a disingenuous smile uh, for people that don't do Duchenne smiling. So it's where you flex a certain amount of muscles in your face. And then it is associated with a whole bunch of weird like correlations and such. Which we are going to talk about. Okay, go. <laughs> I was about to say, you don't seem very interested whatsoever. Just in waiting for the info, buddy. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, so originally when they were doing this, it was in the 1920s and they were, uh, taking electrodes. I thought it was this apparatus that they would put in your mouth. Uh, that's what I always thought it was, but it was straight up like electrical current. Just hitting those muscles? Yeah. Electricity? Yeah. You know, like, like the weight loss thing. I was going to say that little thing that shocks your stomach oh, so yes. you don't have to go anywhere and Did you, you get six try, pack abs. Did you ever try that, man? No. Like, I Okay. So it was, uh, it was this is so ridiculous. Did we're you? typically off topic. You had somebody? You knew someone? I did knew you have someone. One? Yeah. Their mother had one. You told your mom to buy you one. No, probably. bro. Mom, I want a six pack. Oh, I want to work but for I, it. No, come on. Ma, please just let me. No. Uh, and we attached it to our stomach, and we also attached it to our face. Man, it hurt so bad. It, it was not. You enjoyable. probably shouldn't have attached to your face, because whoever your friend was definitely attached it to his wiener at some point. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably. Wait, How no. old were you? If you were over the age of no, 12, I just, then probably. I just, I'm just going through in my head who it was that actually, like. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of stuff around you. Get that thing, yeah. I just realized what friend. Yeah. If it, it was a dude and he was over the age of 12, then for sure. Oh, man. You just told me you were experimenting with putting it on different parts of your body. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and he knew exactly. What better place to experiment oh, man. <laughs> than your wiener when you're a 12-year-old? Oh, How old were you? Uh, we, it was in high school. Oh, least. my God. Then for sure. For sure. You definitely had wiener on your face. Yeah, you had thanks. some dude's wiener on your face. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy? Call him out right now. No. I'm just playing. Don't do that. You know exactly who it is probably. Oh, yes. cool. Uh, anyway, so Duchenne smiles. So they would take electrodes and attach them to the cheekbones. 
Originally, they were doing this to, like, uh, criminals and also uh, decapitated rats and cadavers. Yeah, dude. Uh, because they wanted to see. Uh, but later on, they started looking at it and they actually found out that when people use genuine smiles more, they have higher uh, life satisfaction, they have uh, higher positive affect, which is the big one. That's the big one that they've been able to... Oh, I think I'm stuck because of... Boom! That's a big old jump, homie. Oh, double jump. Can't I'll go over there. Go. I can. There you go. I can. You got, like, tons of time this one, so you got to get big. Oh, you got to get 800 meters. You only hit 20. Oh, what? I got to get... Oh, you get houses. Oh, man. Buildings, trees, snow. Uh, Where did that snow come from? I don't know. <laughs> go get that boat. I'm it's a little big. Get a little boat. It's a little big. You can get a little boats. I'm probably gonna pick up that boat, don't you think? So what's don't you? So what's significant about this Duchesne or Dufresne? Duchesne? This Duchesne smile. This well, du they look. This Duchesne. And, uh, so how often do you fake a smile? Would you say? Do I fake a smile? Yeah. I mean, you can't. I can't really quantify that. Uh, how many times do you think you genuinely smile compared to not genuinely smiling? Then, like a percentage? Not a percentage. Like it has to be a percentage. I okay, could then, give you a real number. Okay. <laughs> like how give the me fuck a... do I know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not. I mean, not literally, but uh, for for your best guess. Um, fake smiles. Yeah. I don't know. That's hard to say. Right. Definitely some. <laughs> right. Uh, so, if you have, if, or you use a non-genuine smile more often, you actually have lower self-esteem, uh, and lower life satisfaction, which is the significance of actually having a Duchesne smile. Well, okay, but it could, one, maybe one doesn't cause the other, but the other way around. The reason you're using fake smiles is because you have you low self-esteem oh, and low satisfaction. That's true. Uh... That is a possibility, but there wouldn't be this BS uh, therapy that came out of that. that said, <laughs> like all I'm saying is, like if you had a if you had a great life, you would be smiling genuinely. Yeah, that's understandable. You would not be smiling as genuine if you. Yeah, did not. you wouldn't be faking it if you actually appreciated what was going on. Hmm. Very true. Very true. Uh, I guess you're right. Well, all right. Let's let's just put it this way. <laughs> if you. Using a genuine smile or the Duchesne smile where those actual muscles reflect, that is not, this is not an end all be all of, you know, happiness or obtaining happiness. Well, yeah. So what about not smiling at all? Ooh. Um, compared, to, like, not, pre not pretending you're smiling. Like flat affect is what they call it. Yeah. Or just letting people know, or just like not acting like you're happy when somebody's telling you a joke that you don't think is funny. Or that somebody's trying to interact with you and you don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I assume that's even worse. The, uh, yes. So you might as well be fake smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, uh, w would you rather be genuine with yourself or are you trying to meet the expectations of others? Uh, that is. The question that I would ask in that aspect is, are, are you genuinely smiling because... Well, I fake smile because I'm being genuine with myself. Because I'm not... Like, when I oh. when I fake smile, it isn't because... Uh, I mean, it's because I'm not trying to offend people, and it's not because I'm afraid of offending them. It's because I'm not a dick, you know? And if they're <laughs> if what they're saying isn't, like, uh, interesting to me, I don't want to just be like, no, that's not oh interesting to me. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you don't have to be rude to somebody. Just because you don't like what they're saying. Or you don't care about what they're saying. That's very true. Uh, you can entertain the ideas. And you might learn something from that. But, again, this is this is not like an end-all, be-all yeah, of, of what it is. Uh, smiling therapy did come from this, though. I, I didn't take the time to like look into it. Like Right as soon as I saw it, I was like, come on. So, But there's a way to produce... Uh, the Duchesne smile, mm -hmm. and thus, you know, knowing what those muscles feel like. So either A, you can kind of reflect a little bit better and see, like, when you're genuinely smiling and utilize those aspects or be in those places a little bit more. Uh, or, you know, just do it because they say that it increases life satisfaction and positive affect. So, just, so you put a pencil in your mouth. <laughs> what? Yeah. I was waiting for you to finish saying. Well, what did you want me to finish saying? You put a pencil in your mouth and then what? That, like, so you put a pencil in your mouth and you try to, you have two ways of doing it. So you put it long ways, like in your mouth, like a popsicle. Yeah, this is probably the sexiest 
<laughs> this episode, the episode we were, we've ever had. Uh, so you put it in, you know, popsicle style, and then you bite down on it, and you try not to touch it with your lips. And then the other one is that you... Like I'm doing it right now. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at me, Jared. Yeah, I'm yeah. smiling. I'm just saying smiling. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you had a, a pen in your mouth, then it would be a little better. better. Uh, I think I wasted way too much time on this one, man. You were much closer than I thought, because when you had like one, you were at like a minute and a half, and you were at like 100 and something. Oh, really? But oh. because you get bigger, you start picking up bigger things. Yeah, I just... Oh, I, you oh, you I got it. Oh, okay, cool. It's because of that effing mana ray. Uh, or you can put it long ways... I feel mm. like I could have gotten huge in this one. Yeah, you dude. Know, like Get separate. all swole. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, but the... Uh, and then you hold it like... Tyler? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, and then you bite down on it. And then you try and not let your lips touch it either. Except for the back one. Because you can't stop those. If you were smiling like that in real life, people would probably have you committed. <laughs> if you were just walking hey! by it. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Stay away from that fool. He looked crazy. I wish I would have showed you the pictures of, of people what, like, doing it. Yeah, like the ele- no, the people of the electrodes, like they just look miserable. They're like, yeah. they're like I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but on a final note, uh, they looked at it neurologically and tried to see if there was any type of uh, reward center, or any type of the brain that was firing. And apparently, whenever you dish and smile, the left side of your brain is firing more often. Hmm. Which is interesting, which, you know, that can mean a whole lot of things. If you know anything about neurology, like it's the logical side, but there's a lot of things that go into the left side. Uh, But yeah, no reward centers or like serotonin or hormone or endorphin release or anything like that comes from it. So who knows? Smiling makes you happier. No shit. Hmm. Interesting. If you perhaps that why we perhaps that's why we do it when we're happy. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I should start crying when like I'm like when I'm happy. Thirty four points. People cry when they're happy all the time, dude. I know. I don't cry out of joy. I don't think I've cried out of joy in a long time. Well, shit. Maybe you need to give it a shot. I gotta give it, give it, give oh, it a go. Open those ducts, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, all right. Well, we didn't do well on this one, so I did fine. Whatever. I feel great. I hate you. Oh, burp. hey, you got a new guy. Oh, uh, is he new? Uh, yeah. Look, and he's not, shaped like that, a wiener. I was, to go, I to was, go with our sexy episode. Oh, good. I'm glad we ended on this. So, like and comment if you enjoy what we're talking about. Do the same thing if you don't enjoy what we're talking about. Because we care what y'all think with this wiener on the screen. Ow! <laughs> Continue commenting if you want to see us play any particular game or hear us talk about any particular subject. Oh, come back for more questions. See ya! Bye. It's literally a dick. <laughs> Purple-headed warrior. <laughs> Dude, it's...